Hi, I'm Dr. Shah. I was the National Lecture Competition winner in 1989, and I'm the Maths Master at Maths School. Now, ready for a new way of doing maths? So, how do we calculate pi? Well, if you press the pi button on your calculator, you'll find pi is 3.141592678. Five, three, five, and so on. It carries on and on and on, um, and it goes on and on forever. So you use it to what, le whatever level of accuracy you require it. You require for your calculations. So often, three point one four is good enough, and sometimes you might want to be more accurate and use three point one four one six. So an engineer might be using three point one four one six. But how do they calc? How do mathematicians calculate this value of pi? and what are the ways in which you could calculate pi if you wanted to work out more decimal places for it. Well, there are a few different ways of working out, and I'm just going to go through two simple ways of working out. One rule for working out pi is this. And this is called the harmonic series. It looks complicated because of this sigma notation, but let's just break down what that actually means. The sigma in the notation just simply means plus. That's all it means. So what we've got to do is first of all put in r is 1 into this equation. So 1 over 1 squared. And then the sigma means plus. And now we put the next number in, 2 into that equation. 1 over 2 squared. And then plus for the sigma. And then 1 over 3 squared. And 1 over 4 squared. And so on. And you go on, well, as far as you want, it goes up to infinity, so the, the further you go, the more accurate it will be. And that's equal to pi squared over 6. So if you type in 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over, 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared, and so on, then multiply that answer by 6, and then square root it, you'll have pi. So there's one way of calculating pi. What about an alternative way of calculating pi? You might want to use... You might want to use this alternative formula, and again we're using sigma notation. Uh, slightly more complicated to understand, but not particularly difficult. So again, I'll just break it down for you. We have on this side pi over 4 equals, so first of all I'm going to put r is naught into this, so minus 1 to the power naught would be 1, anything to the power naught is 1, over 2 lots of naught plus 1 would be 1. So when you put in naught into that, that's just 1 over 1. Now I put in the next number, so minus 1 to the 1, which is minus 1, over 2 lots of 1 plus 1 is 3. And the sigma means add, so I put a plus sign in between them. And carry on with the next one, plus, so I put in 0, I put in 1, the next number I want to put in is 2. So minus 1 squared, well when you square minus 1 it becomes 1 again, over um, 2 lots of 2 plus 1, so that's going to be 5. And by now you can probably see the pattern. It's going to be 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 9 and so on. And that's equal to pi over 4. So work that out and then multiply the answer by 4 and that again will give you pi.